just so, I've been doing this for a while now, I'm just so proud of our team, maybe the proudest I've ever been. I'm just so, uh, I'm so excited for our guys because, you know, some things haven't gone our way that us or probably our fans and Ram Nation thinks it should be going, right? Uh, but our guys didn't, they didn't sway. They just said, what do we got to do next, coach? What do we got to do next? And they said, well, we got to go down to Atlantis and play Syracuse. And uh, they did a phenomenal job of having two good days of practice, a great shoot around today, and carried over the game plan to the T. And both of these guys next to me uh, were leaders in that. And uh, the job he did defensively on, on their shooters and the, the minutes he, uh, Marcus gave us and uh, just, you know, and there's a bunch of other, other teammates that uh, just really stepped up. So just really excited for these guys. They had some success. We saw the ball go in, which is what I, I was expecting. Uh, it took to game five to see it go in, it's but really back. proud to see these guys. Hopefully it gives them a shot of confidence here as we move forward. Mike, you talked about carrying out a game plan to a T. What was your active the game plan on defense in terms of shutting down Buddy and then the rest of that? No team? threes. No threes, no threes, no threes. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a rule of three guy. These guys hate what I say over and over again. Uh, but uh, if, if they can't make threes, a lot of threes, or they're not, we don't have a chance. So made three early, and then I thought we did a pretty good job of just making them take tough ones, contested ones, you know, push them out a little bit, or ones off the dribble late in the game. So they did a great job. Keyshawn led the way with that, and other guys followed him. Coach uh, Wayne S with the Towns Dispatch. Um, hey, uh, I, I was wondering, just how, how do you kind of evaluate the offense versus the zone? Of course, yesterday you guys were talking about the importance of getting in the middle and working from there, and you guys did a good job of that, as a, especially as the game wore on. So uh, was it kind of right to a T how you wanted it? Yeah, without a doubt. I, I thought we did a good job of uh, getting it inside, outside action. I thought our guys, when they caught the ball, we didn't panic. You know, we talked about being calm in chaos and that you might – be shocked how open you are. It doesn't mean you take a bad shot. It doesn't mean you take you do something that you're not ready to do. And I just thought we were hitting singles instead of trying to hit home runs. And um, you know we scored different ways against the zone, uh, but because we we were calm and, and we shared the ball, I think that was huge. Hey, coach, what was the biggest the biggest difference between the first and second half? Being able to, to shoot the ball a lot better and find it. Like, um, Shooting over 50% there in the second half. Well, I, I think there's an adjustment when you play a zone like that. It's different than just the old fashioned 2 3. Uh, it's a little different. So it, it takes some time to adjust. It takes some time to find you know, your shot and, and, and stepping in and be aggressive. Uh, sometimes it puts you on your heels. I, I didn't think we panicked in the first half. Um, I just thought in the second half we looked more comfortable. The ball was hot. I mean, look, we had 19 assists on 24 baskets. That's VCU basketball, and we did it against the zone, a very good zone. So I'm just really proud of our guys to carry over. It got better the second half than the first half just because we really shared the ball and we stuck to the game plan. And then you guys were able to limit turnovers um, in the second half, just only four, and a couple of them were late in the game. Is that what helped lead to that second half success and kind of be able to build a lead and pull away? Yeah, we, uh, you know, our, our goal was to get a shot every time down. So if you don't throw it to the other team, it gives you a good opportunity to do that. And uh, we just did a better job in the second half. You know, that was our best offensive half of the, of the year. <laughs> we scored 44 points. We had some games we didn't even score 44 points. So um, I just thought guys were really sharing it, sticking to the game plan. And then, you know, we, uh, we were aggressive without um, being off balance or – trying to hit home runs. We, we were hitting a lot of singles today, and they, they added up. How you doing, Coach? Eric Wilson with the Commonwealth Times. Hey, Eric, um, what's up, tonight, man? I'm doing great. Well, tonight, offense really came in handy after a few games of offense really um, not m really making the shots that you guys really wanted to, and defense also came handy. Uh, what do you look for with either facing the uh, national champions in Baylor or Arizona State in the next game? Uh, hey, I don't care who we play. We're gonna, we want to play everybody. Um, it, it doesn't matter to me. Um, look, here's uh, our defense travels. We're going to guard. Uh, that's what we, it's, we're playing.
put our hat on that all the time. We're going to press people. We're going to try to turn people over, but make them take tough shots. And we're going to try to fly around no matter who we play. That's that's VCU basketball, and our guys take pride in that. And our defense travels. Uh, for our offense, we're just, you know, we're improving. We're getting better. I, I said this, and, uh, you know, maybe to the shock of some people, but I, I knew when we had those injuries that these guys were going to have to go through some stuff to continue to improve and get better. And, you know, we went through some stuff early in the season. You know, we had two tough losses at home. You don't lose at home, uh, but that's how it goes. And, and instead of these guys pouting and making excuses, uh, they're, they're, they're becoming more connected. And they really uh, are doing a good job of caring about each other and uh, celebrating their teammates' successes more than, the, more than their own. And when you have some adversity during the year, but it's going that way, that means we got the right guys in our locker room. We just got to continue to improve. Hey, Coach, uh, Vince also talked yesterday about the importance of the bigs today and, and Levi, you know, 15 points and also four assists. Um, just what impressed you the most about his outing uh, tonight? Well, Levi plays calm and cool. You know, he doesn't jump up in the air to do anything. He does everything from the ground. Uh, the only time he leaves his feet is, is to finish. So he did a really good job in the high post and even, you know, along the baseline of getting into the defense, into the, his defender and, and drawing fouls, but did a great job of being strong in the high post with the ball and sharing it and, and getting guys shots. So, uh, you know, that's what a fifth year senior should do. Um, and, and he did a great job of that. And then for Marcus, um, you know, you, you find some success from deep and, you know, really played a, a good floor game. Just how do you um, kind of evaluate your night and how good did it feel as well to have sort of a breakout uh, night like this tonight? Uh, well, of course, it feels good. I know, I know I've been struggling a little bit. Uh, I've just been going through some things. So uh, me just going out there, just playing my game, just trusting my teammates, getting me the shots, and uh, just playing hard. And everything was going to come because, I mean, uh, just coming from – Playing in Washington, I, I play against that zone. I, I mean, we found the spots. We, you know, we got our. We, we just was playing hard. This was for Marcus and Keyshawn. What does a win like tonight do to your confidence after kind of an up and down start to the year? Uh, it boosts our confidence a lot. We feel like we can play with anybody on any floor, so it definitely helps uh, the older guys and the young guys play harder and want to go out there and play even more. Yeah, just like Key said, uh, just being connected. Uh, breakout games like this going to happen. So uh, I'm just glad it was the opening night that we were able to have it. Come on, people didn't think we were going to win tonight. Come uh, on. At all. Uh, we did, Look though. at our stats. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people lost money tonight. and uh, But I'll tell you, our guys believed. Uh, we had two very good practices, and we had an awesome shoot around today. And they did a great job of being connected and following the game plan, but they led the game plan. It wasn't the coaches barking out the orders. These guys led the game plan, led, leading by with Key, Marcus, and Vince, and, and Levi. So, um, you know, these guys have great belief, uh, but we had to go through some stuff, and, and, and we might still go through some stuff. We just got to continue to figure it out and get better and move forward. Being that for Buddy, keeping him at that level, keeping him in the. Well, we just didn't want to. We, we didn't want him to get all those points from three, <laughs> right? We didn't want him and Joe and Cole to just bang threes. We weren't going to win that. Um, you know, we take great pride in limiting threes and making people miss threes. Uh, we want to try to be the best in the country at that. Uh, we have athleticism, we have length, and and we <coughs> hawk the ball. So, so if Buddy was going to get twenty, he had to get the old-fashioned way. Getting downhill and trying to shoot over guys, and you know he uh, he was two of ten from three, you know, uh, so he 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 had to, he had to get some twos, and, and you know we did. Someone you know didn't know the rules of the game. We got him three free free throws, but uh, we we wanted to make it really hard for him. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks,